Alrighty guys, welcome to part three of our introduction to PHP and MySQL. And I hope you guys are really excited because we're gonna start becoming legends. And in this video, I just wanna talk about the installation and the things that we're gonna need. So don't do anything, don't even move your mouse, just listen. The first thing we're gonna need is a web server, which we're gonna download uh, to our computer for free in the next video. In the next video, we're gonna download ZAMP. Let me pull up ZAMP. right here, Xamp for Windows, Xamp for Mac OS X, Xamp for Linux. We're gonna download this in the next video, but don't move, just listen, just follow along. Uh, the second thing we're gonna need is a computer. I'm assuming all of you guys are watching this on your PC or Mac and you're not on your smartphone, so if you're on a computer, you're already one step closer to becoming a legend. Third thing we're gonna need is to download PHP, which is gonna be included in our Xamp. ZAMP stands for Apache, MySQL, PHP, and Perl. Don't worry about Perl. I don't even think people are using Perl anymore. Perl was what I guess Facebook was built in Perl, but whatever. It's this, it's a scripting language just like PHP. It's just got a little bit of different structure. But don't worry about Perl. ZAMP for the for what we're worried about. ZAMP stands for Apache, MySQL, and PHP. So again, when we download ZAMP in our next video, we're going to be killing three birds with one stone. The next thing we're going to need is a database, and that's what our MySQL is. Our MySQL is going to be our database that's going to hold all of our information, all of our information, pictures, text, paragraphs, etc. The fifth thing that we're going to need is a text editor. Again, there's no right or wrong when it comes to a text editor, and again, a text editor is not a word processor. A Microsoft Word is not going to do any justice to help build us a website. We need, if you're on a PC, I recommend downloading Notepad++ because it's free and that's the first text editor I started using when I started coding. But again, there's no right or wrong. Just use whatever you're most comfortable with. I meet people who love Dreamweaver. I meet people who fire people for using Dreamweaver. Just stick to whatever you're most comfortable with. I'm on a Mac and I'm going to be using TextMate right down here for the remainder of this video series. If you're on a PC, again, I recommend downloading Notepad++. It's free and a better, it's way better than Notepad, which comes stock on Windows. If you're on a Mac, use whatever you want. Text Wrangler, TextMate, even though it costs a little bit of money. Sublime, Sublime 2. If you don't have any one of these, just download them for free. So that's all the things you're gonna need. And of course, a browser. I'm gonna be on three browsers throughout this video. I'm gonna be on Firefox, I'm gonna be on Chrome, and I'm going to be on Safari. The only browser I'm not going to be on is Internet Explorer because I do not have a PC and Internet Explorer is proprietary to Windows. So make sure you have all these things. Well, you don't have them yet, but make sure you know what you need. And in the next video, let's go ahead and download XAMPP.